All right, so I just realized that if I wear my new cap with my mask and my sunglasses, you don't know who I am. This could be an imposter right now. person we don't know but I can't see anything with this <laughs> hi guys this is better now I can see you hello hello Herky Milton go where's your cap dad cap I left it at work oh can I wear the pink one today it's a dog mom <laughs> I can totally be a dog mom. True. Alright guys, we're gonna go to work today. And today, I swear, we will open this. Alright, let's go. Oh, Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Is it lunchtime? Is it lunchtime? Milton, spin. 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 That's her favorite trick. Spin. Spin. Ah! Oh, okay. Here's the girls' the lunch. It looks so dark, huh, guys, because we don't have the back. Usually this is open, so there's tons of natural light on uh, inside. Gonna feed them a little lunch. This is the chicken dinner. Big country raw. Smaller scoop for Milton. Bigger scoop for Herky. Maybe like this. Yummy. Okay, Herky. Milton, come here. skating rink and now we found snow right smack in the middle of summer and Herky loves this Herky loves it Herky oh my god it's snow oh my god oh my god she's going crazy she's going crazy she loves it there's snow everywhere! Herky! You like to be the king of the mountain? Or should I say queen of the mountain? Herky's going nuts! Herky! Are you happy, honey? Are you happy, girl? You're all wet! Oh, she's so happy! So, is over there their ne their new uh, walk spot? Yeah, I think so. After Herky eating, uh, Herky and Milton eating a dead bird's body in the back, it's over. The pet cemetery in the back is over. So from now on, we're walking across the street. Down there, there's like three soccer fields. There's like places for them to play. They walk over there. 
And Herky gets a bit of winter in the middle of summer. She's very hap. She's very hap. Very hap, Herky. Very hap. Herky in snow is the cutest thing ever. Like she's ever. never happier than in the snow. In the sand. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Kim, and, uh, yeah. She was saying you guys do uh, like your own custom goalie paintings too, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, because like I'm a goalie, so. Oh, are you? Yeah. Nice. So I was talking to her because I'm probably gonna get a new home like next year. Okay, cool. And uh, just like my next one, I'm like, oh, guys, it's the big moment of truth. Finally, we're unboxing this. The as we promised. Dyson V11 Torque. And you'll get an honest review from the dog owners whose dogs lose a lot of fur. And again, we're not sponsored by Dyson. We reached out to them to partner up with them and they said no. So, so I'll tell you guys the Our honesty. very honest opinion. Alright. This is very exciting. You guys know what? When you ship this and you don't put a box over it, this is really risky for people that steal electronics and packages because you know exactly what it is. This is dangerous. That's like eight hundred dollars just lying around. I know. Milton is very curious about this. Did you guys see her face? <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, very important documentation apparently. So there's a bunch of pieces, first of all, that all have different functions and I don't know the functions of most of anything that I've oh, ever so bought. Those, those are attachments. So those would be extra. In my life. So well, now I'm gonna do an effort to learn. Oh, oh no, the battery's dripping. low. Plug it in there, huh? <gasps> It's pink? Yeah, it's pink. You got me a pink one? This is fun. So this is to go in the little corners, like in the car and the cracks to get all the insects out. Look at this. Let's just film the rest with the phone. Because this camera's failing me. Failing me. Let's just plug it in. Milton, does it smell good? Milton, what is it? Is it food for Milton? Oh, she's biting it! <laughs> Can I eat this? You like to get your butt rubbed? <laughs> Milton, so, the... How, do you, how would you call this main... It's a main tube. It's a very nice, like... Kind of brushed metal aluminum yeah. or something. I love the feeling of it. Like I love this feeling. All right. Okay. Okay. I have to take out the the big. Thing. That wasn't meant to happen. Oh, that thing was mad. So it sounds like a hair dryer. It sounds exactly like a hair dryer. I love it. It also sounds like hair, like hand dryers that you have in the bathroom. All right, all I'm not sure what this part is. Cardboard. Okay. Oh. Oh, after it runs, it makes a weird sound like a... Wow, this is fun. Look, looks like a gun. Pew, pew, pew. It looks like something the Ghostbusters would own. Yeah. <laughs> well, do it closer there so people can hear that sound. <laughs> that is the sound of technology, guys. Another piece which I'm not sure what's for yet. Milton is very much enjoying this Milton enjoys unboxing. every unboxing. Yo, I'm just saying this is real fancy. Okay, I think the tube goes in here. I know that from watching Sorry, YouTube videos, this here is to get like statues and expensive things. Yeah, that too. So you want to vacuum expensive things? What if I want to vacuum Milton? Yo, no, I've we'll seen people out. vacuum their animals. Let's try it out. Daddy Chen, he vacuums Bowser. Try it out. So you guys know how Canadians will say out? Out. Out. Try it out. The charger is very nice looking. It looks like this. Very possible. Alright, so I'm thinking the tube. Tubey. Like this? Aha. Uh -huh. We are so smart. Woo! Look at this! Ooh. Guys! Look at how big that is. Alright, I'm Robocop. We'll focus here. Look at this, guys. When I press on. No. It's like you connect to the web. I'm just testing the suction and it's really strong. And then it blows the air out right here. And it has a HEPA filter, I believe. That's right there. In two clicks, you're ready to go. Oh my God, the suction is so strong. Okay. You wanna follow me around? 
Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, look, there's a there's a few pieces of stuff that I'm gonna pick up here. Ruthan, are you confused with all this? What's that? Is that a big dinosaur? <laughs> okay, let's do this carpet. Yeah. Is, it, is there a detachment for carpet or is it this? I don't know, we have to read. The suction is so strong on this. Hold on, you're gonna give me your opinion after. Right now, all the stuff is getting sucked into here. Ooh. Oh, you hear it struggling. Look, this is what we gathered so far. And this is on regular mode. I'm gonna go on power mode after this, on the couch. Yeah, so what is your first impression? It's heavier than I thought, honestly. Like, uh, like it's okay if you just keep it like this. But this part itself is pretty heavy. Like, on my wrist, it's pretty heavy. And... On the carpet, it can go one way, but when you go back, it sucks the carpet in. Like the carpet stays stuck to it. So it's not, maybe there's another attachment for carpet. Okay, so we had a few options of where to put the Dyson in the house. So Andy's first thing, we're gonna put it here. But it's really big and like when it's resting, it comes out to here. So that's a no. You have to mention we're limited to where the I, electric plugs it. are. Okay. Hey Mil, where do you want it? Hmm? Where should we put the Dyson Milton? So there's a plug here, so we could have put it here. But you see how big it comes out? This doesn't make any sense. Right? It comes out big. And it's the first thing you see when you enter a house, so it's not ideal. It could have gone here. This would have been a good corner. This. Is it too tight? Like there's a plug behind here. Is there? Yeah. Like this would be a not bad corner. Like it's so concealed, but I don't know if it's too crammed. <laughs> Shout out to Henry's parents for getting us this gift. This smells marvelous. So this will come out a little bit more. Sorry for the mess, guys. This is real life situation. That's a not bad place. I like that. That corner was not being Ow. served for any other purpose anyways. Wait, I have to verify if there's actually... I'm pretty sure there's no plug there. Oh, no, there was because we had the... There's uh, actually no plug. Did we have the... We uh, did have one, a diffuser before. Yeah. Okay, this is mysterious, but... Okay, so I really like this area because it's like a little nook, but apparently there's no plug. And then it would have... It could have gone there, which was kind of awkward, and he, or here at the entrance. But then it blocks the mirror. What do you guys think? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not really what you want to see when you enter a house. No. So, we have settled on this area. Follow me. This little area that serves absolutely no purpose when you're on the way to the go to the bathroom. What do you think? I mean, it protrudes a bit when you go to the bathroom. You might have to like squ squeeze to the side, but we're not that big of people, so it's not the end of the world. Like I wouldn't touch it. Oh my god, a great area for it would be here. Come. There's no plug though, but. Here would be so good. Well, yeah, if you're gonna play on no plug, then there's a lot of better areas. Oh my god, this is perfect. Look. I bet you guys never saw this area before. It's huh? not an option. And then the other options are here, which would block the window, and that's not an option. Ooh, what a pretty day today. So, and then there's that area that is really like. Or relaxing area. I don't. I don't want to staring at a pink vacuum all day. I'm really baffled at the fact that there's no plug here, though. Milton, what do you think? Where should it go? Huh? Harky, where should it go? On our other place, there was 100 percent a plug here. Harky, where should we put it? Harky, so cute. Okay, guys, I have lined out our attachments. And I am very ignorant about the subject matter, 
which one of these five would you suggest is for the carpet? I usually expect mine to know this kind of stuff, but even she doesn't know. I have no idea. So we might have to search it up. Milton, which one is for carpets? This is for, oh yeah, this for more delicate stuff. Like it's very soft Same. bristles. Maybe no, this could this be. This is not soft bristles. Maybe this for car carpet. And this is for smaller space. This is for Tight cracks. spaces. Let's try. Maybe this one. Why would that one be? Touch the material. Maybe it's for carpets. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Wait, she's gonna jump. Herky, no, no, no. Herky, come here. Down, down. This way. Keep it, keep it on. Why do you stop it all the time? It's dead. Oh, it's already dead. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. All right, so we're about to try the point and shoot hygienic bin emptying. All right. So this is how much fur we picked up in like. One minute of vacuuming. Yep. And apparently you just go like this, and then... Oh! Oh. Whoa. That was fun. Hmm. Okay. All right, so it's completely dead now. We're going to charge it, and we're going to try to mount the thing. Yeah, and then we might do a full review tonight or tomorrow when we... It's when it's fully charged and we really vacuum with it. All right. So I really don't trust us to do this. I really don't. But we have to drill the first hole at 120 centimeters from the floor for this. And then the second hole has to be five inches above, exactly above, for us to drill this. So it's all on you. Oh, God. It's on you, man. We ha we're you bought the drill for this, so you do it. We're terrible at making holes. And do I put this in first, or what do I do? I have no... I don't know, man. You don't say... Yes, it's this one first. It's the exploder first. You have to put the exploder in and then and then you put this and then you put the other nail. But how do you how is this going to have a hole? Well, you have to kind of dig a hole first. It's what? Tim the tool man Taylor. I would just like to point out I'm very nervous about this. Me as well. So, we suck at renovations, we suck at, this is not a renovation, we suck at anything that has to do with the house. Right, right now we're going to try to not hit a beam, not hit any electric wires. So purposely for this, I have purchased an electric drill, which I have no idea how to use. I have also purchased, purchased this stud finder, because I think that all people should have a stud finder. And I've always wanted one, but I never bought one. So we have this stud finder that we got from Amazon. This drill that we also got from Amazon, like right now, we're gonna see if there's a stud in this wall, and we're also What's gonna a see. What's a stud? A stud is like a, a a wood beam. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because you want to drill that into the wood. Okay. Ideally. Okay. But I think if you have the other expander expander thing here, you don't really technically need the wood beam, but okay. It's okay. And then we want to make sure we don't hit any electric wires. Okay. Oh, it's telling me the wood is here. Really? Look. It says the wood is the strongest right here. Oh, well, there is wood. Okay, we found it. Wait, let me let you mark it. Here. Ooh, wood. Center. Yeah, but we want to know where... where no, I know, but you know that here is the center, so okay. you'll measure after. Here's the center. Okay. 27 centimeters. It's just 120. Why 127? I'm oh, sorry, 120 centimeters. 47 and a quarter. 120 centimeters. I think you should do it the other way around. This should be on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I 
I think you should go 120 centimeters instead of 47 and a quarter. There's no centimeters here. Really? Yeah. <gasps> but it says quarter here. Okay. So, that would lead us to right about here. All right. Are you centered compared to him? How would I know that? Like you draw a straight line from this. Is it straight? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the other one. Five inches above. I have to do math. No, just start your your ribbon from there. Five inches above, which brings it to like here. I'm gonna pre drill a little hole. I like how I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. I'm just. Why are you pre drilling it? So that I could fit the uh, other thing oh. in, which I don't even know what it's called. Oh god. <gasps> wow. <laughs> now, wood is pretty hard in the back. I don't know where he drilled. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. We're not drill people. For, no, just for the initial hole. Okay. Oh god. Oh god? What? It, I don't know what you're doing. Oh man, it's going in. This is not good for the house value. I hear shit cracking. And I then and then what the beam, you you you, so technically you I, remove it? Yeah. Yeah, like it's drilling really solid. Woo! That is in. So technically I don't need the other thing. Technically. Okay, and then? And I'll pre-make this one. Okay. So guys, I think I'm just gonna go straight with the screwdriver, put this in here, because we're at the wood beam, so we should be fine. Okay. No, I don't. Oh my god! Okay, so you guys saw we followed the instruction, but then we don't see the hole we made at all. Shit, this <laughs> never works out for us and like home stuff. So we're just gonna make a new hole. There's a lot of resistance. A lot of resistance. Oh god. We screwed up, didn't we? Why is it so much resistance? I don't know. Did it go in? There's something in the back there. <laughs> there, there goes is. us being us. Oh my god, the hole is so big. There is something in the back there. It's supposed to be the beam if we're in the center. Like, it's not going in. Okay, so we finished the installation. It is currently charging. I don't have much faith on this that it'll hold, but for now, that's what it'll be. It's gonna fall on my head, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, like, you see how we're bad at home stuff? We calculated it with everything. We looked for the beam, and it still does not work out for us. It just never works out for us. Never. Like, it was two holes. It was two simple holes and still didn't work. Okay, so for now, this thing is gonna be resting here like this, just hanging off the floor, levitating like it's <laughs> like David Blaine or something. Just chilling like that. And it's gonna be charging for three hours and then we can finally put it to test.
to it. You made him have you write his paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Dyson time. It's Dyson time. We're going to demo a few attachments from the Dyson. But uh, Andy said that I should be doing the demo. Which I find odd because he's the cleaning lady of the house. Why do I have to do it? Oh! Oh! I'm offended. I'm highly offended that you would think I'm the cleaning lady. Guys, first and last time that Maya's going to be touching the cleaning device. Okay. So... I really want to uh, use this one to do the crevices and the windows. There's a lot of bugs. So, this is fully charged and I would like to point out that it's still hanging. To pull upwards only. It's still somewhat hanging. Okay, so I'm going to remove this attachment. This collects. So, we're going to do the windows, we're going to do the carpets and the couch. Like, you see all the stuff here? Woo. Look at the free. So we're on automatic mode. We're gonna call this video Dyson House. Please do. Oh. That looks like it fits in very nicely in the corner. That dog food. Oh, you're good on top of all this stuff. I'm gonna do this area just for Romeo's mom because she pointed out it was dirty. So the room bed does not go here. Are you supervising mom cleaning? You doing a good job? Well, this one more hard. Huh? I think this is better without the tube. This is too high. Oh, short device. Mm. Mini gun. Mm. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, this is so better. Easy. Apparently this soft one, you could put it on to clean like uh, statues and decoration and vases and stuff or like that. Or system. Oh. Okay, we never dust guys, so this is a mix of dusting and vacuuming. It's great. Because you're short. So I like the fact that the attachments, you can put them on the short thing because otherwise with the big thing, you know how it is. You'd be like this. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. <laughs> My turn guys. I'm gonna get to do the couch with this. And then we're gonna try the carpet. So this is the harder brushes. It's supposed to take stuff out first and then it sucks it in afterwards. So for like mud and fur, it's supposed to be very good. Let's see. The suction is not very hard at all. I think I'm gonna go on strength mode with this. Boost!
So, so on boost mode, I definitely see more fur going into the machine. Oh yeah. As I'm vacuuming. Look here, you see this fur? Mm -hmm. This is very hard to get usually with the vacuum cleaner, but we'll see with this. Let's go. Gone! I meant by it really sucks it in. Yeah. yeah. Why did it stop? Nine minutes left only. So guys, after like Three minutes of vacuuming, it's already telling me that it's too full of fur. I need to go back. Empty it. Britton, are you impressed? You impressed? No, it's not impressed. How about you? Are you impressed? I mean, it looks good as a as a as a vacuum. I don't think it's worth eight hundred dollars. I don't see where the hype is, to be honest. It is better than our like $100 vacuum that I absolutely hate. It's a big shop vac. It's huge. I like that uh, it's practical and you can actually take it around and do little vacuums here and there. I'd be more inclined of taking this out than the other thing for sure. But I don't understand the price honestly and I do think it's a bit heavy on the wrist. Maybe because we have the V11. It's like the biggest or strongest. But maybe the other ones are smaller. Like it is quite bulky and to be honest, it does get a bit tiring on the wrist. But it does a good job. Here's our current ugly vacuum cleaner that my hates. And I hate taking out that wire. That is a deterrent a lot of times. So guys, final thought. Um, battery left only 24 minutes. I would not use this as the main cleaning tool of my house. I'm very, very, very thankful that we have the iRobot that does most of the vacuuming already. So if I was to spend like, you know, between $800 to $1,000 or $600 to $1,000, I would get the iRobot first. It's very expensive, this model, but it's really good. It does the job super well. And then I would go in just to do like the little accents. And like we, we emptied it and look at how much we gathered again. Yeah. Like it does pick up a lot and we do use the iRobot too. Yeah. And I love though the fact that um, this is a battery. So it's going to allow us to just vacuum things a lot quicker for like little things like dead insects and fur balls and stuff in corners. So overall, I, I, I like it. It's a bit overpriced. It is very nicely designed. Um, I robot first, this number two. So, oh, wow, you're so tall. So this is going to conclude our Dyson try first impressions video. Hope you enjoy. Uh, Herky and Milton, as you can see, they're still afraid of the vacuum as usual so thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time your camera does a really good job of making us look good <laughs>